Okay, I wanted to do this quick video to show the new Thrive theme. This is available in your back end today. If you click on funnels and then create new funnel, you'll see this theme. It comes with four different home pages. This is the default home page. Comes with a ton of different content blocks that you can use. The second style is more of a contained style as far as the navigation. The third style is more of a, a darker header and darker footer that you can use. And lastly is an alternative theme uh, within the theme itself uh, that has an alternate color scheme as well. Uh, also included is the inside pages. So each of these inside pages matches the navigation of the style that you have for each of the home pages. So that's the default inside page. Again, this is the contained version inside page. And then there's also that darker version where it's actually behind and it's more, you know, a, a lighter color scheme as far as the navigation. And then this navigation is related to, again, that alternate color scheme that you have in there. It also comes with, you know, a default services page, comes with a contact page. And then of course, on the blog side, there's several different options you have uh, when configuring a blog for this theme itself. So why don't we jump into the back end and set one up so you can take a look at, you know, some of the content blocks and some of the feature functionalities that this theme has. So. You're gonna come over here to CMS funnels, or if you're building out a base funnel, just come over here to templates and funnels. You're gonna hit create new funnel. And here you'll see the new Thrive theme. Just go ahead and name this whatever you want. And I can't type today, uh, Thrive demo and hit clone. So what this is doing is creating all 10 of those pages for you on your site. And so when you go into the actual builder itself, you'll see over here on the pages tab, all your different pages. If you plan on using the default homepage, great. Um, you have all these content blocks and this tab right here shows you different layouts if you're trying to build your own blocks. But this theme and all the themes that we showcase in our back end come with all these blocks. So here you have all your default blocks, tons of different ones you can use from 50-50s to you know, working processes and things like that. In addition to that, we have uh, banners. So you have several different banners here uh, that you can choose from. And again, all these blocks here. So for instance, if I just wanted to drag over, you know, this block here, you can bring it over anywhere you want. Oops, that's not a good place to put it. So you may want to put it right there. And so you can just quickly just start configuring your blocks all the way down, however you like, right? And so you can use all these different blocks throughout. And of course you can come in here and delete, you know, whatever blocks you don't want to use as well. If you're just trying to go through and quickly set up a landing page from the default theme. So everything's grouped here. So you got banners, you have blog widgets. So this is showing two different versions of, you know, your blog feed, uh, call to actions, contact pages, uh, con uh, headers, you know, logos, portfolios, page titles. So you could start with a blank page. So when you come over here to pages and create a new page, you can start from blank and then just bring over your header, bring over, you know, kind of construct your whole site or you can start from one of these pages uh, that are already built and existing for you. You can also change the name of these. So, you know, you can go through and just quickly build this out and configure it and then go to the next page and you can change the page name so you don't have to keep these page names what they are. In addition to that, you can make any of these your homepage. So for instance, if I were to go into this page, this lander version, which in my opinion uh, is my favorite of the four, and so as you go through here and you want to decide to make this your home, you can actually just click on this little icon here and that'll change out the home page and swap it basically. So you still keep the default. It'll go to the page name that you currently have. And this one will be, you know, your new home page now, right? And so you can configure from there. Another section here, as far as using the content blocks, you know, like I said, you can drag them over throughout you, however you like. But you'll notice here there's a little theme tab right up here on the top right. This is where you can change out all of your fonts. So you can come in here and just start, you know, selecting fonts that you want. So you'll notice this one didn't change when you made the primary font. This home page is the alternate version. So you, you know, you'll see that the main color for this one is this, right? Opposed to the other theme, which has or the one of the you know theme one or theme two or style one style two for home page you'll they'll end up using the main color so as you start going through your pages you'll see all these different options as far as changing out your color scheme you know from your fault fa font family to your alternate font family it's all there every bit of this is completely configured uh, throughout so 
Yeah, super excited about all the content blocks. Also, if you have been installing themes, you know, more of our advanced users have been installing themes using our theme engine. There's actually a new feature there to where you can name your groupings and this will allow you to do it like this, right? So you can actually build out all your content blocks for the theme and group them just so it's a little bit easier for the user to come in and decide on what they want uh, as far as their content blocks and drag over. So yeah, Thrive theme is live. Um, you know, look forward to seeing all the different customizations off of it. And uh, yeah, I appreciate your time.